you're probably wondering what the f are twitch extensions and how do i use them and lucky for you in today's video i'm gonna be going over exactly that and how to do it step by step so if that sounds good to you make sure to drop a like on the video to help the youtube algorithm push this video to other streamers that need this information and obviously if you're trying to upgrade your stream make sure it looks super clean and crisp then you're going to want to go to own.tv for all of your stream aesthetic needs own.tv is the number one place to get all of your twitch overlays alerts panels emos and everything you could possibly want for your twitch stream my favorite thing about them is that they have so many different affordable affordably priced stream design packages which contain everything you could possibly want. I'm going to quickly show you guys the new LED Christmas series design package and it comes with different overlays, it comes with different panels, it comes with different alerts, graphics, transitions, and everything you could need. The great thing about these packages is that they're all modular meaning that you and your buddy could buy the same exact package but not have the same exact looking stream. So if you guys want to help support the channel make sure to use the link in the description down below. It really helps me out. And shout outs to own.tv for sponsoring today's video. Appreciate you guys. But let me show you how to use these friggin Twitch extensions so first things first let's go over to my channel real quick if we scroll down here down to our panels these are different types of twitch extensions so if you look in this bottom left here you can find my twitter feed this is a twitch extension we have a stream countdown timer to the next time i'm going to be live and then i have a viewer gifted sub leaderboard so that way all my viewers can see who gifted the most amount of subs to the channel and so on and so forth with different information provided down here so these are just one type of twitch extension these are called twitch panel extensions that just means that these are going to be located down below your stream in your twitch panels and you can use these to display additional information about your stream that you want them to know however there's also different twitch extensions so let's go to the top right corner click your little profile icon make sure you're logged in and then from there click on creator dashboard give it a second to load and then you'll go and notice on the left hand side here a little tab that says extensions so go ahead and click that and now you can see that there's two tabs we have discovery tab and my extensions the discovery tab is where you're going to be able to find all of your different extensions so if you have none that you've already used before this is where you're going to find them and then once you've gone ahead and clicked the install button on some of them that you would like they'll be located under the my extensions tab so if we quickly look here we can see the ones that i have installed and then we have the ones that i have activated so the ones that are activated are the ones that i'm currently using on my live stream you can see that i have one called stream stickers which basically allows users to spend their bits in order to slap stickers on the stream and play a little sound effect which is a lot of fun it keeps the viewers engaged and it keeps everything a little bit more entertaining i also have another one called timeout with bits which allows users in chat to pay a certain amount of bits to be able to time out other people in chat which honestly is a lot of fun because it makes a lot of fights break out and it's really entertaining for me as a streamer to watch and then if we glance down below there we can see the three panel extensions that I showed you guys on my page and you can tell because it says panel one panel two and panel three so those are gonna be located in the panels down below the twitch stream whereas the components are going to actually show up on the actual twitch stream so if you take your mouse and you hover over the twitch stream there's gonna be a little button that shows these little things that you can go ahead and interact with as the viewer keep in mind though some of these extensions are going to require the use of bits meaning that if you're not partnered or if you're not affiliated you're not going to be able to use those however if you're using things like the twitter timeline or the streamlabs stream schedule and countdown got those mouthful then those don't require bits being spent in order to engage with so you can use those without being a twitch affiliate which is pretty nice so let's actually go over to the discovery tab and let's find some different extensions that i would recommend so if you're first starting out on twitch and you're not even a twitch affiliate you can even just start with one that says latest followers so if we click on latest followers it'll give us a brief description of what the extension does we can see what type it is right here it's both a component and a panel so we can have it show up on the stream or we can just have it down in a panel which I would recommend so if I wanted to use this I would prefer to use it as a panel so let's go ahead and click install from here we can see that the extension was installed successfully and now we can go and set it up on our page so go ahead and click configure from here we can see different settings that we can change so if we look at the first setting this is kind of what I mentioned with the bits enabled features viewers can exchange bits to celebrate how long they've been following your channel for by sharing their follow time in the panel for you and all the other viewers to see that means that if you're not a twitch affiliate or partner you're not going to be able to use this setting if you're not affiliated you would just hit no however if you were affiliated then you could go ahead and click yes but there's different settings you can mess with all of these and this is a configuration so once you've configured the settings of the extension to the way that you want it to be we're gonna have to add it as a panel if I click on latest followers on the activate tab this little drop down we can set it as panel one panel two or panel three but if you noticed I already have panel one two and three set on my already activated one so that means I'm gonna have to replace one out for the purposes of this video I'm going to swap out my Twitter timeline, which happens to be in panel two. So I'm going to set it as panel two, and then I'm going to replace the Twitter one with the new latest followers extension that we just set up. So now that I have it set to panel two, go to the top right corner, click on channel, 
and I'm just going to show you what it looks like because I already have one in there but I'll show you how to do it if you don't already have one in there and not replacing it because you're going to have to do one extra step. So now you can see that I have replaced my Twitter timeline and panel two with my latest followers and it magically just sets up nice right there. So if you're not replacing a panel and you have to add a new one, you have to scroll up, click on edit panels button, that little tab right there. And then from here, scroll all the way down until you see this little box that has the plus button on it. All of my panels are already set up, so I'll just remove this one to pretend like it never existed. So I'll click on this empty box here with the plus, and then you'll click the extension panel. I only have one panel extension left, so it's not going to give me an option. It'll automatically fill in the last panel that I have there, and then I can click and drag it to the spot that I'd want it to show up in. So if you guys haven't already seen my video on how to customize your Twitch channel, I'll leave the video in the top right corner, and it'll make more sense on how I had all of this set up and how to do it yourself at home just to make everything look organized neat and nice so now once you have your panel in the location that you want it to be in scroll back up click the edit panels tab again and then scroll down give it a second to load and then you'll notice that it is in our little location where we just added it to so that's how you add a twitch extension panel it's basically the same process if you want to do it for components or if you want to do it for overlays so I'll just quickly show you on how to do that so let's go back to creator dashboard and then from there click on the extensions tab and then we can go and add a different one if we go back to my extension then we know that stream stickers is a component and all you would have to do is just click on stream stickers install it and then once you've installed it, you click on configure so you can go and add all of your different settings that you want to change to. Keep in mind though that stream stickers is a bit enabled extension. So if you're not affiliated, you can't use this one. And then once you have all the settings the way that you want it to, just X out of here and then go to your extensions, go to installed and then click on activate and then set as component one. And then it'll show up on above your Twitch stream when you're live. If you're not live, like if I'm on my offline screen, how I am right now and try to hover my mouse over the screen, it's not going to pop up whatsoever because it only happens when you're live. But when you are live, if you hover your mouse over the stream like so, there should be a little box right here that shows your different components and your overlays. So that way you can just hover your mouse over it, click on it, and then you can interact with the component that way. So a few different extensions that I recommend using are the subscription gifting leaderboard. I think that adds an extra level of competition to excite your viewers to be able to support you more. And it only takes up a panel spot. I like the Twitter panel spot as well because that way you can keep them updated with your different social links. And honestly, the stream schedule countdown is really nice because when people don't know when you're going live, they can just go and see an actual countdown that actually converts to their time zone how many hours or days it's going to be until you stream next. I personally like using the Streamlabs Bits extension because it allows me to make jump scares for my stream. However, if you don't want to go that route, I know that there's actually a lot of people that are using the Blurp extension as well as the voice mods extension and one of my personal favorites the crowd control extension if you guys have no idea what crowd control is basically it's a twitch extension that lets twitch chat exchange bits and points to be able to mess with the game that you're playing so you're gonna have to download their software and you're gonna have to go through their setup process but i like doing it with super mario 64 because chat can exchange bits and points to be able to give mario like a fly cap or kill him or do pants on fire and different things and that adds a whole nother level of engagement and entertainment to the stream while also supporting your stream as well so i would highly recommend you guys check out crowd control i'm not sponsored by them in any way shape or form it is a little kind of hard to set up compared to a lot of the other extensions but once you do get it set up it's a really good time but just briefly scrolling over this you can see that they have different categories with how you can add like new and noteworthy ones new extensions that just hit the scene like they got one for dead by daylight back for blood and different ones that have different game integrations with it which is pretty cool they have schedule and countdowns which i recommend the streamlabs stream schedule because that's the one that i personally use stats they have the stickers they have viewer engagement so like sound alerts and they have different emote showcase to show what emotes they're going to get if they sub to you so on and so forth they have a bunch of different other ones but twitch extensions are a great way to add an extra layer of entertainment engagement and support to your streams and speaking of support i just want to thank all my patrons for helping make these videos possible if you guys want to check out the patreon link is in the description down below.